folks, Ray here, River Bend Longbows Outdoors, and I finally got a chance to get away from the shop for a little bit, so I thought I'd come out after good rain, maybe look for some mushrooms, do a little deer scouting, and uh, brought something along I'm going to share with you, so stick around, we'll take a break here in a while, and we'll do that. These skeeters are horrible. Oh, big mushroom. Oh yeah, pheasant back, we're getting that baby. Take the smaller one. Get in there. Yeah. Pheasant back. Cool Time for a break. What a day for mushrooms. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I was actually looking for a new first aid kit to replace the ones I have or upgrade, and I never really could find one I liked. Lo and behold, the company got a hold of me and sent me, and not only me, but several other YouTube creators, this. It's from Survivor Wear. It's a miniature first aid kit in a pack. The pack itself, I think, is worth, who knows? I mean, it's awesome, versatile. It's kind of like a ripstop fabric. I'm sure you can waterproof it. It's got uh, straps on the back. You can strap on a backpack strap if you had to, back of a bicycle, whatever. And it has the uh, moly straps for piggybacking onto another pack. Pretty cool. And anyway, inside, it is packed to the hilt. I was very impressed. My wife's a registered nurse. She was impressed, and that's hard to do. Everything is labeled, and it comes with all your essentials you need for a traumatic situation, down to a CPR mask with gloves, extra stuff for that, a tourniquet kit, which I hear is mediocre. I don't know about that. I hope I never have to use one, but I'm sure it would work if we had to. Band-aids, medical tape, some killer stainless steel shears, tweezers that are pretty heavy duty, and it has uh, some little needle probes for if you have to dig out a splinter. Everything is sterile in packs. Has uh, some safety pins, um, Q-tips, a safety whistle. I've already added a lighter. There's a safety whistle. I've added a lighter. I mean, it's always good to have some fire with you. Say so you have to cauterize a wound. Heat up the tweezers and put her out. Bandages, uh, ace bandage, kind of a snake bite kit in there. Has uh, cleaning wipes. Everything's labeled, easy to find. That's what's really nice about that. I really like that. Uh, eye patches. It's got wound closures, different wound closures for pulling together a bad wound. It's got the big triangular bandages. And what I thought was cool, emergency solar blanket. Very good to have. So all in all, I am absolutely impressed by this. And then in the front, they sent little bags to add your own personal medications, which I've already done and labeled them. You know, you have your allergy, how many milligrams, anti-diarrheal, ibuprofen, Tylenol. I even added in some uh, Alka-Seltzer. That's always handy to have on a cold wet night at camp and you're feeling not quite right so you can add your own stuff a little bag for personal medication if you're on medications which should actually be in a marked bottle of pill form from your doctor or pharmacy and I went ahead and added some uh, extra strength um, severe toothache cream which you can actually use as a topical ointment not people know that about a bite or something that's killing you 
So all in all, I am very impressed and thank you very much Survivor Wear for this. I'll leave links below for where you can find these and I'm not going to push a product on you unless I think it's worth it. This is worth it, I guarantee it. And I have a uh, discount code I'll put in there too that you can put in and get a little discount on it. And I believe they donate partially some of their uh, funds to Hands Free, I believe it is which I think is really cool. But yes, I'm absolutely impressed with this. Check it out. I'm gonna go find some more mushrooms. This place is great. Remember, only pick what you know. I'm only gonna show you this, the Dryad. That's an absolute yes. A lot of these have a look alike. So, be safe. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Some turkey tails. Pretty cool. Just a beautiful day. Mushrooms everywhere. Most of them deadly. I forgot one thing to put in my pack as a vaccination for West Nile. Skeeters are horrible. I gotta get out of here. So this just happened. That's out of me. Wow. That was loud. Talk about a widow maker. Man, I don't think the first aid kit would have helped there.